Time scales in soccer systems are dependent on three ideas. First, time is just a way to measure movement or work. Second, that it is measured as intervals and not as separate points. And third, that there are both global and local forms of time. Motion is defined as any change in position, velocity, or quality. This includes internal cognitive change and external environmental change. These changes occur over intervals. Motion cannot happen at a single point. It must unfold along a continuous line from start to finish. This brings us to the global view of time, the second law of thermodynamics, also called the arrow of time. The law contains two global or operational constraints. It's asymmetrical and produces entropy. Entropy is a disassociative process. It results in the unstructuring of meaning. Players combat this unstructuring by drawing on negative entropy, meaning supplied by associating with other players, the ball, and systems. This is where players and the coach have to deal with local time. Local time is measured by the countless interactions between the time intervals on the field. All of the players actions, thoughts, and the motion and velocity of the ball are variable intervals. When they act in a harmonious fashion, system cohesion, negative entropy is high. When they don't, systems fall apart and entropy is dominant. In part two, we looked at soccer systems from the perspective of a static point in time. Even without motion, the potential number of free agents, subsystems, and systems was staggering. But using the smallest system of two players, compare the number of possible combinations in this static positional model to a dynamic interval model. In the point model, there are four possible relationships involving the two players. In an interval model, there are 13. The conceptual move from a place to an event dramatically increases the complexity and opportunities facing the players. In an interval model, comparisons are based on a context. No two players or systems are the same. Given a long enough time scale in any given task, a difference will emerge. This difference between point and interval thinking can be seen in the freeze method of coaching. Here the picture is complex and dynamic. The relationships are loosely coupled and change unpredictably. At a signal everyone freezes. Time in the form of physical motion stops. This allows the coach to tightly couple select elements towards an optimal end state. The game is moved from an action-oriented, improvisation-based, open-ended world involving all of the actors to a deterministic, scripted action world involving only certain players in a set sequence. Once the game is restarted, it rapidly returns to its natural, loosely coupled state where intervals and chaos are the norm and points and certainty are the exception.